Look on the screen. Look on the screen. So a lady reports that she went to get a drink inside of a, a convenience store to dodge the heat. Looks like instead she may have met a little TT. Check it out. Fair use. This can get exhausting. Exhausting. And I see, I get the little emails and I see some of the comments where some of the black men are like, oh, you're only showing negative things in the black community. Quick question. I can do a story. This is my channel and this is my commentary and we don't have to agree. But here's my question. You seem to have your drawers up in a bunch more about a black woman reporting it. Worse the heat for the black men that are causing it. Again, I wanna, I'm trying to figure out who's doing the most harm. The black men that are killing the women and the children, beating up folks, or the ones that are reporting it. And by the way, it's on the news too. Just, 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 just so you know, there aren't any actors without on a Hollywood set. So I'm just trying to find out. You have smoke for commentary. You don't have to be here, sir. I'm not. I'm not asking you to. Okay, we can agree to disagree. But I'm trying to find out where is the smoke for when the black women are being killed and murdered. Where's the smoke? Where's the anger and the disgust? But see, I know in the black community, it's called. The black man can do whatever they want, run wild and crazy, and we're supposed to pretend like, oh no, it's a wonderful place to live. Welcome to the neighborhood. Happy to have you here in this full of murder to see robbing and thieving. Really, among other things. So you're upset about me reporting the news. It's already out there to begin with. But well, I'm not seeing the disdain from these men unless you're a Dusty. Where's the disdain to say, oh, this should not be happening in our community. I feel for the women and children. We should do, we've got to do better. I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing you're always talking about bashing black men. No, bash black men are bashing themselves by the derelict behavior that they do. No one has to bash you. As Godfrey said, you, you're trying to, uh, uh, I guess, pretty much make the uh taught the, the uh, black man's image i'm paraphrasing no no baby you do it all by yourself you don't need my help so i i just have a question for you where are the black men that are against the black women and children that are being attacked and killed where, where, where's that but you have said about a, a story showing it oh that's just like the black community collectively uh that's that mammy juice dripping from your lips they get to run wild, run crazy, do all kind of shootings and violence, have put children here and run the hell off. Uh-huh. And we're supposed to look the other way and just say, oh, we can't talk about that. That's going to make them black means just look bad. Boy, bye. Man, please. It's really shocking. You're more upset about commentary on the story on a reality, a painful reality, but you're not upset about the women and children. That is so black a stand, if ever. And that's why the community wants to live with its head in the sand. Guess what, bro? Everybody already knows how the community operates. That's why they're at the bottom. Everybody already knows how it operates. That's why ain't nobody coming to save it. So be a man. Don't get upset at the messenger. Why don't you get upset at little TT now? Fair use. Here's a good example in Blackistan and the woman getting threats. Why? That's the black community. Whenever black man, he does something, you ain't supposed to be talking about that. But they can talk about black women all day long. Everybody see through the smoke and mirror. Why you think Goldman Sachs made the move that they made? They didn't say we're going to target black men. They already know the majority of missing the community. It's on a, it's on a sinking ship and no one wants to put money into a losing behind stock. It has a signal. Avoid, avoid, sell, reduce. That's a loser stock. That's what it would it, that's an indicator. So it's interesting. More, it's like, wow, I guess so pretty much let them just run wild and crazy. Let everybody be quiet. That's that black mama mammy juice. Let everybody be quiet. Don't talk about that. You making that making him look bad. Bull crap. So let's check this out. Black men, are you more concerned about the lady filming it? 
Okay? Or are you more concerned about his action? Here's what happened in Blackistan when you try to call things out. She thought this might kind of quell it a little bit. No, honey, it works differently in Blackistan. This is typical behavior, and they want to attack her. Typical Blackistan. Ladies, if you can, get the hell out and fast. Check it out. Fair use. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jackie Jovic. And I'm Dan Jovic. Shreveport police are searching for a man caught on camera pistol whipping a woman in a violent encounter at the checkout line of the Shreveport gas station. This is our top story tonight. NBC 6's Darren Todd joins us now live from the scene with more. Darren? Hey, good evening, Dan and Jackie. It happened here at the Circle K on Line Avenue. The victim said that she was only going in the store to buy a cold beverage to dodge the heat, and little did she know things would get out of hand. Now I want to warn some of our viewers that the footage in this story, it can be alarming. You just threatened to smack her. You threatened violence. Um, the cashier had carded the girl who was trying to buy cigarellos, and mm. they just started arguing. And the next thing you know, this man pulled out a gun on this woman behind the register. It was that threat against a pregnant cashier that prompted this woman to pull out her phone mm -hmm. and start recording. It just got out of control to the point where I thought he was going to hurt her. And I thought for sure that if he realized that there were other people watching him and other people knew that he would just stop. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not what happened. When he came up to me, he showed me the gun in his pants and hit my arm and threw Ooh. my phone across the room and it hit the window, broke the phone, and then they left. While she wants to remain anonymous after receiving threats herself for posting this video on social media, she says she's not sorry for speaking up for the cashier. Good. I regret posting it. Um, I believe that if, that if I was in... A neighborhood I'm more familiar with, such as Moortown or Ingleside, someone else in line would have spoke up. Police have identified the man seen in this video as 21-year-old Jacoby Frazier, and a warrant has been issued mm -mm -mm. for his arrest. Honestly, I don't think he needs to go to prison or anything crazy. <laughs> I think somebody just needs to have a talk with the kid. She says since the encounter, she has been receiving a number of messages from people questioning her actions. If I was put in that situation again, I would end up doing the same thing. Now, what do you mean questioning her actions? Who, who the heck is that? Must be the imbeciles of society, the derelicts of society. Why don't why aren't they questioning the actions of um this one right here? Anybody want to question his actions? And you wonder why the jail is full of them. Let's be real. You wonder why the jail is full of little TTs. Sometimes they put them, most of the times I say they put themselves there. Why you just can't go into a store, make your purchase, and you wonder why businesses are leaving Blackistan. And look, the woman, where's the aircraft? Uh-oh, look who it is. Looks like there's a black woman behind us working. Oh, so no one's concerned about her. That's typical of Blackistan. No one's concerned about, oh my God, is the woman okay? Is she afraid to come to work? Might get some PSD from encountering a little TT. Anyone concerned about her? Uh-uh, not in Blackistan. They're concerned about this trash. Don't forget, you got to you know, look the other way. Uh-uh. And when the black man is doing something, we're going to make them look bad. Hell, they already make themselves look bad. They don't need nobody's help, darling. No one's helping them. They're doing it all themselves. The sad thing is, for the intelligent black men that are the opposite, for every one of them, I guarantee you, I'm willing to say you probably got five or 10,000 little TTs for every one man like that. That's the sad thing. Is anyone concerned about the black woman? And then the lady said, I believe that she was pregnant. He going to pull a gun out. Is anyone concerned about her? Could get, get the woman excited, the stress of her child. Is anyone concerned about her? Is anyone uh, threatening him? Not to say it's the right thing to do, but they want to threaten her. Is anyone concerned about the black woman behind the counter with child? Anyone concerned about her? Not in Blackistan. It's all about little TT. That's why this community is messed up the way it is. 
That's why it's jacked the hell up the way it is. That's why it's Kyle Blackistan. Ignorant thinking. That's why this community is down the way it is and it ain't coming up tomorrow, not collectively. No one's concerned about the black woman behind the screen who's working, by the way, and with child. And he pulls a gun on her? Is that what you do? No one's concerned about that. And I see he got a little bonnet Betty with him. No one's concerned about her. But you want to do some threats over this right here. Over this right. You want to do some threats because she pulled out a camera. What does that tell you about the mentality of a lot of people in the community? It's really sad and disgusting. It's really sad and disgusting. You will see more and more businesses close and the ones that are there at a higher price. Why would they close up? Why would they close up? Uh, idiots don't understand business and life is business. See, something may happen to her. They may have to hire security. That's more money affecting the bottom line. Little T C them to understand that. If something were to happen to her, guess what? They may be subject to possibly, even though it's, you know, uh, let's just say an example, someone gets hurt or, or killed, they could be subject to a wrongful death lawsuit uh, or death benefit by the employees, family. That happens. Little T C them don't know. They don't, they're stupid. And you want to talk about gentrification this on the screen is a good part of it and that's the conversation we don't want to have because why it brings into accountability for the black community we don't want to have that they don't come move no shot we both have somewhere to stay and live well <coughs> when you have high crime people start they know to get out while you can because the money's going to get less this right here is part of gentrification. This right here on the screen. And that's the conversation we do not want to have. So much crime, nasty and trashy, people start to move out and the land becomes real cheap. They already know. That's the land grant. Where's the location? Oh, yeah. You can put some money into it and turn around. That's the combo we don't want to have. Wherever the dusties go, it's bound to be a you-know-what show. A derelict trashy show. So I want to see where's the outrage in the black community for him allegedly pulling a gun on a on a woman here, a black woman. The clerk is pregnant, and Becky don't understand dust. She says she pulled off the camera thinking he would stop. Not dust. This is this is what they live for. Dusty love trauma. They bring drama. The financial implications too much dusty in the nation, and that's why a lot of them are in jail today. You want to fight for defund the police? Uh, you want to fight for prison reform? Let's see when it comes your way, one of these justices pulls a gun. You and your family. Where's the outrage for the woman in the back just trying to work? And more than likely, she might be a typical black woman having to take care of herself and a child all on her own. Where is the outrage? Black men, you worried about the content. Where's the outrage? What are you doing? You want to show something positive about black men? There are some positive things. Tell you what, why don't you go and do it and then do it and then go film it? Why don't you go to those other videos that put black women down all day long? Ladies, I'm a, I'll just say this here. So for those kind of men, the dust is about this channel. Go to those videos and tell those men, hey, guess what? Stop putting down black women. Why don't you go and do that? I guarantee you, those weak dusties, they won't dare to do it. But guess what? They're enjoying it. See, they, they're they like Blackistan, where black women are responsible for everything wrong. And a black man, well, you know, he ain't do nothing. That's your darn problem. You don't do nothing. That's your darn You don't do nothing. That's why most of them ain't got nothing. Where's the outrage for this woman here, the victim? And then they get a felony. Then I want to do right and get a job. Uh, you, you, don't, don't nobody want to hire your monkey behind? You know how to act. Who's going to hire this? That's what they do. They'll get a whole bunch of felonies in. Or where they see the street life didn't work out. I want to try to get a job. Then they won't hire me. You know, because you are a liability. You're a liability. This community is, is in the wrong directions. Ladies. Decent black men and women, even if you're in Blackistan, 
You can leave it in your mind with a plan. Start planning. Start saving and investing. Learn to have your money to make money. Leave them. Don't 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 say don't say a word. If you I don't care if you got to do a, a come up off the crime thing where they pay ten thousand. Go get it. Go get your money and don't go floss and don't say crap. Call anonymously. Hey, go buy a burner phone. Okay. Go get a P.O. box. I don't know if they're going to mail you to check what happened. Don't have it come in your house. Go get a P.O. box. Had a check to come there. However they pay it. And invest it. And don't say jack to anybody. Invest. Leave. It's not worth it. You cannot build with this community collectively. It's just not. Many people don't want to say it. Hell, I'm telling you right now. It's not worth it. So she went in to just get a drink. Dodge the heat. It all turned tragic when she met a little TT. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, share. I'm out. People, please stay safe and stay dust free.